If I said that 6 equals 6 or 4 equals 4, it would be normal. But in today's episode, I will prove mathematically that 6 is actually equal 3 and 4 is actually equal 2. So before we start, don't forget to subscribe, share, like and hit the bell button to be a part of this conversation. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Theosophy. So let's start with 4 equals 2. We all know that. 2 equals 2. And 2 squared equals 2 multiple 2. Right? And we can say that 2 squared minus 2 squared equals 2 multiple 2 minus 2 squared. It's the same thing, right? This side, we can rewrite it because of this is the difference between two squares as 2 plus 2 and 2 minus 2 and equal and we can take 2 as a common factor from this side so we write 2 multiple 2 minus 2 it's okay so this go with this and Abracadabra. Actually, 2 plus 2 equals 2. That means 4 is actually equal to 2. Proved. <laughs> That's crazy, right? And 2 over 2 over 2. That means 1. That means 2. And that means 2 is actually equal to 1. Remember this because it's very important. I will tell you why at the end of this video. Now we will go with 6 equals 3. What's this? We all know that 3 is equal to 3. 3 square equals 3 multiple 3. 3 square minus 3 square equals 3 multiple 3 minus 3 square. Difference between two squares, that means 3 plus 3. Uh, multiple 3 minus 3. Take 3 as a common factor. 3 multiple 3 minus 3. This or this. And that means 3 plus 3 equal 3 that means 6 is actually equal 3 proved <laughs> 3 equal 3 equal 6 and 2 equal 4 wow watch this be careful 3 over 3 and 6 over 3 that mean 1 2 that mean at the end 2 equal 1 so if you do the same steps with any other number, like 5 equal 5 or 10 equal 10, million equal million, it will be always end as 2 equal 1. So ladies and gentlemen, that was a crazy mess. Don't forget to tell me what do you think about it in a comment and don't forget to subscribe, share, like and hit the bell button to be more amazing. See you in the next video.